Hi, this is Matt. I will show you how to get started with the Velocity DB and Velocity Graph. Start by going to the website velocitydb.com and click on the download menu. Select uh, one of the possible installers, one with server, without server. Uh, in this case, let's do the one without server. Then run the installer. And we're finished. We are showing you the user's guide of Velocity DB. I strongly recommend looking over this uh, in detail if you plan to use Velocity DB. It has a lot of good information uh, about any uh, any uh, aspects of using Velocity DB. Uh, so now uh, we have installed our product. We also uh, want to get a Velocity DB license. And uh, in order to do that, we have to register on the website with an email because your license will be tied to a certain email. So we have to start by registering. Put in your organization, your name, and an email address. And uh, we associate with, uh, in, in the issue tracker, we, 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 we track username. So that's why we are asking for a username here too. And then uh, select the password. Now you're logged in and you can go to the license page and download your license licenses. Well, first you have to generate a license, a trial license. And then uh, you download your license. You want to store your, your license in the root or the C drive because that's where uh, that's where our samples are looking for a license file, license database. So now we are ready to test the product and uh, run some of the samples. With Windows 10, you will find Velocity DB, uh, uh, the Velocity DB folder, and it has uh, a link to the API documentation, a database manager, release notes, user's guide, and our sample solution. So here we are with a solution open. Let's collapse the solution tree. And what we have is we have a folder with velocity DB samples and a folder with velocity graph samples. We have the database manager, our end unit tests. We have the old browser that's replaced by the database manager. We have some extensions to velocity DB in two different projects, one for uh, C CSV import and export and geohash and R3 and the other one for ASP.NET identity imp implementation for uh, handling login uh, in a web application. 
we have the velocity graph as a project and we have a, a restful API project for velocity DB just the start of it let's start by looking at a, a simple sample like the quick start sample so uh, you start by having to have a, a couple of using directives in your program uh, you're using velocity db and you're using a velocity db session and you specify a, a directory a relative path to where you want to store your database uh, files um, this is appended to the session base database path by default it's c databases but you can set it to any directory you like and at the start of the program we are using a session in this case a session that's not using a server and at the begin beginning we, we we start an update transaction we create uh, a company object we name the company and then we persist this um, company let's uh, just run this uh, build and run this sample so we can step through it now uh, new nuget packages are uh, restored because the uh, download does not install uh, does not include the, the nuget packages to reduce the size of the download. So here we are, and uh, we created a company. If we look in the debugger, we see the company uh, has identifier zero zero zero. It means it doesn't have a persistent ID yet. But when once we have gone through the persist, and we now inspect company, it has an ID fifteen two one. That means uh, we are storing this uh, object in a database fifteen on a page two, and slot one. Each type by default gets its own database file, so its own database number. Then we continue and we create another object an employee and we persist this employee and it gets a different database id 1921 and then we're, when we are done we commit the transaction um, so that everything is guaranteed to be durable and we are done and then we, we can we can query the the objects we just created, we can get old company objects, employee objects, and we can we can print them out. Let's look at this. How this is telling us where we are running the sample. And we we should have inspected the objects here, but uh, that's it. We can we can inspect them with a database manager tool. It's also included in the solution, but we also provide it as a pre-built uh, executable in the installation. But uh, in this case, let's use the one uh, that we build from source. A project one so we have a database manager is, is for browsing your databases also for doing uh, creating new databases and creating new database directories and backing up data and uh, validating databases so we can add a 
this database we just created to this database manager. And it's in the quick start um, directory. We have to specify what uh, um, where your classes are for, for this uh, application. And they are stored in the project below uh, project directory. So here is a deb debug. So in this case, it's stored in the actual application, not in a separate library. So then we can open it. And we can inspect the objects we just created. That's for a simple sample. Um, uh, other samples are, are similar, but some, some of the samples require a license. So in those cases, the, the, we, we copy the license file from, from the C, C root to, to the database directory. So in the quick start velocity graph, we the sample, it's creating more than a couple of types. So in that case, we need a license. So the license uh, is copying the license file from the root and into the specific database directory for the sample. And this concludes this quick introduction to how to use VelocityDB.